Hey, good morning. May 3rd, 2017. And I'm hiking the West Highland Way and followed by the Great Glen Way. This is day one of the West Highland Way. I'm walking. Camping each night. So I brought everything with me. And the weather is going to be perfect for today's hike. And for the next three days, I believe. And then we'll see after that. I don't know the schedule. The weather forecast. But so far, so good. Morning. And this is basically a forest. Now we're cutting through. Right outside of Mile Guys. No guys. So I'm doing that first and then heading towards Fort William. I'm excited. The pack's not too heavy. I think it's about 30 pounds, so it's not too bad. Feeling it already because it's, you know, I haven't had 30 pounds going back in a while. So, but so far, so good. Cheers. Okay, I'm about uh, three miles out from my guide and uh, just walking next to a small lock here. I don't know if you see that with the sun, it's very bright. Just the track I'm walking on right now, part of the West Highland Way. And it's about 941, so that's what I'm walking on right now. I got some hills in the difference, uh, distance I can already see, so it shows the trail is going to get interesting quite quickly, so I'm excited. I'm doing really well. I'm enjoying it a lot. It's nice. As you can see, perfect weather. Be back later. All right, I'm about four miles in. I'm just walking uh, this path here. You see a little bit of the highlands over there. And I got a little bit of mountains in front of me. Oh, those are hills, sorry. But uh, yeah, I think I'm about four miles in now, uh, about eight miles from uh, Drayman, Dryman. So uh, I think there's a stopping point about halfway between here, uh, Milgai and Drayman. And I'll stop there for like a little lunch or something because there's a place you can actually eat. So beautiful views, perfect weather. Anyway, just a short video. Okay, just walking still. Still about five, six miles in out of the five five. But just walk in uh, make the field show the view down there as you can see. Great view. Some land down there and, uh, as you can see. This is also the West Highland Way also follows this part of the trail is the John Muir Way. So following that also. And going the views across the countryside. So just walk by the over there in the field. I don't know if you can see them, or chicken, one or the other. So I'm just walking down this path now. And uh, some great views next to me. So far, so good. I'm looking forward to stopping and getting some lunch. Uh, it's 10.30 now. So, doing good. Let's see that. Hello. 12.48, walking on a little bit of road right now, uh, coming into Dryman, uh, about a mile and a half now, I think it is, maybe two, but uh, yeah, it's been uh, mainly walking through fields, so it hasn't been really nothing to show, so just wanted to give you, an up give you well, not you, but me, I guess, an update of where I'm at, just walking down the road, nothing really interesting going on, just a few people ahead of me. Uh, people that are not packing all their gear or faster, obviously, because they don't have all the weight. So, 
Uh, just a little bit of road walking right now. Looking forward to getting to Draymond because that's uh, why I start walking next to Ben Lomond. So that's going to be interesting. Looking forward to that. Uh, just keep on going. See you in a bit. Okay, just uh, came through Dryman. Now I'm heading up to uh, Conic Hill, I think it's called. Just walking through the, the fields here, but this track between the two fields. And uh, it looks like I'm going into some woods. Uh, and then I'll be uh, heading up the hill, I think, and uh, finding my campsite where I'll be stopping. And I did just pick up a Mars bar from a local little uh, honesty box. So I'll have that tonight. I've got a sandwich, some peanuts, like a trail mix kind of thing, and a Mars bar. So that's my dinner. So walking through some nice yellow flowers right now on this trail. This little track here. And there's a nice green field next to me with the forest looks like I'm walking into. So, uh, it's 1.30 now, so I've got plenty of time, to be honest. I'm about 12 and a half miles in, maybe even 13. So, well, uh, I've got plenty of time, because it doesn't get dark to about 8 here. So, and that's like my circle view. There's a farm there, I just walked back, well, I didn't walk next to it, but it's on the road up to it. Uh, okay. Right, this is going to be the first view of Loch Lomond. Uh, you're seeing it for the first time as I'm seeing it. I just came around the corner here. And that's it there. I'll be hiking next to that for quite a bit. So, that's it. Lomond. Be nice. Just on the uh, farm track or whatever this is, dirt track, forestry service track, it looks like. Apparently, I've been told I might not be able to camp on top of Conic Hill because I forgot that they had the restrictions of wild camping set in place. And I forgot about it. And it's somewhere up here that it starts. I don't know. I'm gonna try to find a spot around here somewhere where I've got a view of the of the lake. Of the lock, sorry. See what happens, I guess. And now that's what I'm looking at. Salita, alright. Uh, this is basically the end of uh, night one. First day of uh, West Highland Way. Uh, this is my camping spot here. Uh, basically, right before you go up to Conic Hill, it's I believe it's in the no camp in the in the safe camping zone. Uh, that's the campsite. Basically, there's a few camp camper rings, uh, campfire rings around here. Upside down tree, and this is the view of Loch Lomond that I have. The sun's over there, so I'm not going to go too far over to the right, but that's the view of Loch Lomond. You can see. This is from my campsite. Basically, right on the edge of the forest here. And, uh, and there's my campsite again, where I'm camping for the first night. So, tomorrow will be the second day, and that's what I got going on. Good night. Farewell. <laughs>